Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the development length. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the development length and the factors affecting the development length. So first to define the development length. I will explain this and define this development length by taking an example here of any beam in column. Consider this is the column in beam connection and this is another column on the right side so when the reinforcement is being put in the beam in the tension zone to resist the tensile stresses so this reinforcement is is being embedded from beam into the column like in this way similar here in the, on the right side this reinforcement from the beam is embedded from the beam into the column and it is being extended and to the what in, in the vertical position so the development length can be defined as the length of the reinforcement the length from here to here this length and from here to here this length this reinforcement the bending length in the column of reinforcement we call is development length so it can be defined is the length which is being embedded from one member to another member to uh, to strengthen the bond between the two members here the load will be transferred from beam into the column and this reinforcement will be responsible to transfer the load from beam into the column here in this portion the load will be transferred from beam into the column through this reinforcement bar and this reinforcement bar is known as the ld development length and usually this distance this length of the bar is taken as 12 into d where d is the diameter of the bar this diameter of the bar and this diameter of the bar uh, maybe for example uh, in this case I'm taking it one inches number eight bar so the development length this length will be equal to the LD will be equal to the 12 into D where D is equal to the one inch so one it means that the LD is equal to the 12 inches so usually are equal to the one foot so it means the development length in this case, if the 8 number bar is used here in the tensile portion of the beam, the development length should be equal to the 12 inches. Here in this case, it will be also equal to 12 inches. But this is a usual practice taken on site uh, and it depends on some factors. I will discuss these factors now. So now here I will discuss the factors affecting the development length. So the first factor which affects the development length is the concrete strength. The concrete strength. The concrete strength has inverse relation with that of the development length. So if we use high strength of concrete, then we require less development length. Uh, similarly, if we use less uh, strength of concrete, low strength of concrete, so we have to require high development length. It is inverse relation with the development length. Because if there is high concrete strength is used in this bond, in this region, so there will be less development length to transfer the load from this beam into the column. The second portion, the second factor which affects the development length is the grade of the steel. Grade of steel used. Grade of steel. So, the grade of steel Fy is also has inverse relation with the development length. If you have high steel of, if you have high grade of steel used in this portion, in the, in the, in the joint of beam and column, then we require less development length. Similarly, if the low grade of steel is used, low strength of uh, grade is used, we require the development length more. It is also in worse relation with the development length. And these factors affect the length of the development and it taken according to these factors. The last factor which affects the development length is the size of the bar. Size of bar used. If you high if you have large size of bar used, so this development length is more. If you have less size of bar used this development length is less so it is a size of bar size of bars has direct relation with the development length if the smaller size of bar is used we require less development length if the higher size of bar is used higher diameter of bar is used we require more length of the de development so these were the some of the factors and the of which affect the development length uh, and the same and some relation so these were all discussed in this lecture and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.